Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. I am so glad that you came and joined us this morning. I have uh, from Tennessee, Michael Carnes. He's a uh, television, film, television network. He's worked in the industry for many, many years. And I want him to share what he's doing now and what God's laid on his heart. Michael, I'm so glad you joined us in Morning Moments. Thank you, Andy, and good morning to you. I wish I had my cup of coffee with me, but already did that so <laughs> well uh thank you for sharing tell us what you do and why do you do it i do it because i believe it's what god called me to do so i'll answer the second part of that first and what is the calling the calling is basically the great commission spreading the word of god the gospel throughout the world and we do it through communication um and what i what i've done is i went to school for this back in 81 i got my degree in communication and uh, have been working in the secular world commercials music videos uh, films tv all of the above uh, over all these years and so there's a tv aspect there's a film aspect and then i got somehow involved in live events as well so uh, being involved in i think four presidential inaugurations that i was part of so, you know, and the Million Man March, you know, a couple of uh, the Promise Keepers did a while back. I was one of the people in the midst of all that, making that happen. So, you know, God's just given me, um, for lack of a better word, a talent, I guess. I don't I don't ever pat myself on the shoulder, but I'm, I'm logistics. I'm right brain and left brain. So I can be creative, but then I can go, okay, this is what's going to cost to do that. And by, by putting all this together in the entertainment world, it's like, how do we get the word of God out to not just our neighbor, which is important, but how do we get it out to the Chinese fisherman or to the Russian coal miner or to the uh, Chilean coffee grower, you know, through streaming media, through, through what we're doing now, anybody that has a smartphone or anything can see this. So... Um, I've kind of rolled up my sleeves through the years, had ups and downs, been there, been down, been there, didn't been down, but uh, God's put it all together to help me learn. Um, you know, even here in Nashville, I was running uh, several networks. So understanding the concept of not just production, not just story, but then distribution, the business side of it is a big part of it. And that's one of the needs today is that people go, well, we got all these great ideas, but how do we get it out there? Yeah. And there's only a few that are doing extremely well and God bless them for it because, you know, we've all watched the chosen uh, overcomer with the Kendricks. I can only imagine with the Irwin brothers. I mean, there's some great movies out there, but there's a lot more that can bring the gospel to the common man. And, and, and I talk to a lot of people on the front end that make those movies, make those uh, TV series, vindications, and things like that. And uh, it takes somebody else on the other end to be able to distribute that and get them to the world as well. Right, right. And that's that's the platform that we're building uh, right now is a very robust proprietary uh, program that's going to allow us to have many, 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 many channels in this free streaming network. And I underline free. We're modeling it after PBS. You know, they're member based and donor based. They're not subscription based. So you do not have to subscribe to this network to view it. And, and I think it's it's nice that we as the church start taking back what God intended for us to have as far as music and television and media so that the purpose of, of what we do is to get that message out, spread out in whatever ways that God has gifted us with. And we cannot be afraid of those in the world because we are over the prince of the world, but yet their loud voice, has, we've shrunk back and we need to roll up our sleeves and be strong and be loud and go no more. You know, we're going to we're going to talk about biblical values and moral values to our kids in the school and to, to people at home and go, you know what, this direction is really not right. And you know it in your heart, but we're not going to be, you know, beating anybody over the head on it. We're just going to be presenting the truth. 
you know, it's interesting, you know, you've been a pastor's kid and been around one little candle in a dark room, where are you going to go to? Yeah, that's the truth. So you can have all the darkness around you you want, but if you can be a candle and a light and a flame, you're going to get the word out and people are going to be drawn to it. I did a devotion a long, long time ago on, on, on morning moments and put it on YouTube and took a flashlight and shined it right on the camera. And uh, uh, the trouble is people try to let their light shine by, by a bright light in their face, which is nothing but offensive. Uh, you don't have to blaringly put a light in somebody's face. If you just become the light in darkness, people come to you. And folks will come to you and say, and they'll come to that message on the television, the message of the song and say, I want what he's got. He's got something genuine and that light will draw them to, the, to, to Christ. Absolutely. Well, it comes down to the point of Jesus told stories. You know, it's the story of hope. It's the story of truth. It's a story of forgiveness. It's a story of life. It's the story of, of truth. You know, and and wrap those godly moments into stories, and people pay attention, and that's what it's about. And I, what I'm discovering is everybody has their own story too, and our stories change based on our chapters in our life. And what I've discovered at my age is that while I was in God's will back then. I didn't realize that was preparation for what I'm doing today. And it just, it's just amazing to see how it works. God, God is the great orchestrator. And we don't know what, you know, I told my wife the other day, she's in music and stuff. I go, you know, God uses a lot of flats and sharps in your life. But when you put it all yeah. together, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And uh, uh, he puts us all together. If we'll just listen. Uh, but the trouble is that people aren't listening. God knows your heart. It's up to us to hear his voice. And uh, when we listen to him and, and, and tune into what God has for us, it is amazing what the hope and the plan and the future is, is revealed to us. Somebody said to me the other day, Andy, just as a, a, as a short little moment of, of, of what, what you can do, somebody t said, you know, and I've been a Christian since I knee high to a grasshopper. I walked down the aisle in a Baptist church at 10 years old and never looked back. I never did, went off the path. So, uh, well, we all do. We're all sinners. But I mean, I don't have that story of God had to bring me out of the junk. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's, this was said, start your day off when you wake up. Start your day off with these two words. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Because then you can go, thank you, my wife, for caring for me. Thank you, God, for giving me a new day. Thank you. And, and you start putting yourself into that mindset. Now you have a mindset of gratitude. And it opens up God to go, okay, now I can use you. Because you're not all tense. You're not all tied into yourself. You're not all discombobulated with what's going on. You're thanking. Yeah. yeah. The attitude of gratitude, right? Love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Good. Good. Well, Michael, I, I really thank you for, for sharing your heart with me today. Uh, what I'm going to do is down below in the uh, comment section, I'm going to put websites, uh, things that you've done, things you've worked on, and also any websites that you could have of how people in the industry could get a hold of you as well. Uh, find out more about what you're doing in that uh, building networks and building that distribution and how what, what your heart is uh, for for that big, big picture. Uh, more important than all the connection, I, I want my my audience, and I, I ask for this every time, is to think of Michael, take a moment right now after you've listened to this and take a few moments and pray for Michael and what God has for him, that God would continue to use him and, and use his talents, his experience, his education, and what he's done for us all of those years and bring it to, to what his purpose is for today. And uh, we're gonna be praying for you, brother. I appreciate that, I appreciate that. It's a big undertaking, but God's a big God. 
Hey, thank you. Thank you. We have uh, a lot of mutual friends in, in the industry that uh, I've interviewed on this show, and I'm sure we'll be interviewing in the future. And it's so nice to be able to get connected with you. And uh, we're going to hopefully stay connected because God's got great things for, for you and ho hopefully for, for myself as well. And uh, thank you for joining me, Michael, and uh, uh, may God richly bless you. Well, thank you for this time, Andy, and God bless you and lift you up in what you're doing as the word goes out through your media. Well, thank you. And thank you for joining me uh, for Morning Moments. And uh, why don't you keep on coming back? Until next time, we'll see you. <laughs>